Hi there, this is uh, Steve, the Bayfest organiser, uh, along with my co-organiser Ash. Uh, this is the first of some podcasts that we're going to be putting up on YouTube, uh, just to keep you up to date with what's going on uh, in the Bayfest camp and how the event's all turning out. Uh, as some of you may already know, the website is now up, which is www.chemistbayfest.co.uk. Uh, tickets are in the middle of being processed, uh, so they should be available to you in the next couple of weeks. Yep, uh, the ticket prices this year uh, fifteen pounds for the weekend. Um, that is a price increase from last year, um, but the price is justified with some of the acts that we have this year, some uh, some high profile acts, um, also the facilities on site this year. Um, so hopefully your experience throughout the whole event, um, from camping through to watching the bands and having a drink, um, uh, will be uh, significantly better than last year. Um, also, if you choose just to come for the one day, um, it is eight pound for uh, for each day. There's also a camping charge this year, um, which is five pound, and by paying that you can camp from the Thursday through to the Sunday. Um, this charge is not there for us to make money; it's purely for um, the actual rental of the field and to cover any damages that happen during the event. Um, so it's not a money making scheme by any means it is purely to uh, keep the festival going um, as you all probably some of you may already know uh, this year we've been sponsored by Carlsberg which has raised our profile dramatically uh, in terms of uh, popularity, uh, bands wanting to play uh, and it's also good you know continues our success with sponsorship as in last year being sponsored by Marshall uh, and we've also got another sponsorship on the horizon which we'll keep you posted about as well and um, we were also going to be doing some stalls as well this year just to keep you occupied over the weekend just some more attractions uh, just so there's more availability to you on the weekend and um, we've also got a surprise as well uh, which we're not going to tell you yet but um, it's a nice surprise just to finish off the weekend um, and you know you'll find out what it is on the Saturday night but I'm sure it'll go down really well yeah, absolutely. Um, I suppose it might be worth um, discussing some of the stores that we might have on site this year. Um, some yeah. possible clothing companies. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, that reminds me. Uh, I've sorted out one stall. We're actually having a tarot card reader at this year's event uh, who will be doing uh, tarot card readings all weekend. So if you fancy finding out what lays ahead for you in the future, uh, go check it out. <laughs> that was really cheesy. But that's fine. That's fine. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, absolutely. So, if anyone needs to get in contact with us this year, um, don't hesitate to email us at contact at chemicebayfest.co.uk. Um, any queries at all regarding the event, please do get in touch. Um, whether you're a band or just looking to um, purchase some tickets, um, it's worth also mentioning that the tickets will be on sale on the website, um, which once again is chemicebayfest.co.uk. So, um, so the bands this year? We've got a good lineup this year, possibly the strongest one that we've ever had. Um, this year uh, we've actually got our first ever signed band in the form of Death Vanna, who will be headlining the Saturday night and we're all really looking forward to seeing them play. Uh, we've also got favourites uh, Through Colour, who have uh, just recently been featured in Kerrang! and Rock Sound and Enemy, so we're really excited to have them as well. Uh, also Bastions who are getting quite a following uh, at the moment and they're on a really good good run at the moment so can't wait to see them. Also festival favourites, uh, Valium, you know, this is this will be their fourth year but you know, they get everybody dancing and they're a really good act to have. It's nice it's also worth mentioning that the Valium are now under the title Seagull Knievel as well. That's true. So um <coughs> excuse me, so when the posters are out, um Seagull Knievel, for those that don't know, is Valium. Mm-hmm. Um, as, as Steve just said there is some, some great acts playing this year um, as you said Death of Honor who are currently um, they're on the most played on SCUS, um, SCUS TV also as you said Through Colour who've had uh, reviews in the likes of Kerrang um, Bastions who have also been featured in Rock Sound and they've also got a big feature coming up in a magazine uh, which comes out in April which I can't divulge which magazine it is yet but um keep your eyes out for the um, the rock magazines and, uh, and you'll see a nice feature with uh, 
with Bastions in there, so it's going to be quite an exciting time for the band. Uh, the River Card also, um, a, a hardcore punk type band. Um, I've, I've had the I've had the pleasure of seeing them play, and um, and they're, they're an excellent band live. Got, I think we've got a live video on the on the, on the MySpace yeah, page. Yeah, yeah. Uh, check out the MySpace page as well uh, for information on the. Uh, events as well and we've also got some tracks on our MySpace page of the bands just to give you a feel for what kind of uh, what things are going to go down over the weekend so, so Ella Carrera um, last year they yeah, were uh, they were called hands, uh, hands of Hate uh, they went down really well so they're coming back uh, for a second year and uh, can't wait for that as well yeah I think we're all pretty excited about that one yeah um, Make Like Madeline um, another band that I've had the pleasure of seeing live um, Played the tour with Bastions in January this year. Um, a, a great, a great band. They're like a dirty rock, like southern rock almost, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but they get they got great stage presence and uh, really looking forward to seeing them. Uh, this year as well is the first time Bayfest has ever had a ska band in the form as A's for Ape. Uh, so that I'm, I'm sure I'll go down really well. It's a, it's a big band. There's like it's like got seven people in the band. Uh, trumpets and everything, so I I personally can't wait to see them as well because I think that'll be immense. Definitely want to get your dancing shoes on too. Exactly. Um, I said the spy, uh, like a, a power pop band. I believe. Yeah, yeah, uh, power pop, uh, a bit of synth in there as well. That should go down well. Uh, Burn the skyline and uh, kill the captain. Um, I suppose almost like a Enter Shikari sort of trancey hardcore. Yeah. yeah. Um, definitely want to. Um, Sort of get your mosh shoes on too. Definitely. And long shot, uh, a local band who uh, were happy to have opening the event this year. Um, the guys have been attending Bayfest since it started, and uh, we've also seen them play a lot of local gigs in our local town. So we're, we're really happy to have them play this year's Bayfest. Mm -hmm. uh, headlining the um, the Friday night as well will be festival favourites uh, Speculum. Uh, like Seal Knievel, this will be their fourth year at the event. Uh, but we're really pleased to have them headline on Friday night because they just get everybody dancing and anybody who was there last year on the Saturday night uh, saw how crazy it got. Uh, everybody was just completely up for the music uh, and they'll be fronted by Mr Formula who is probably uh, the best beatboxer in North Wales, uh, I'm assuming. Absolutely, one of the best frontmen I've seen for that sort of yeah, music. Yeah. So. Um, we also have um, uh, Dean Mack, who's a local DJ. Mm. Um, who will be um, playing some jungle, some house, etc. And he's bringing some uh, some fellow DJs as well, all of which will be on the the website. So um, for those that like your dance music, your drum and bass, jungle, etc., um, we're going to have a really good mix of that going on on the Friday. Um, so I think that's it for now. So uh, yeah, I can't think of anything else to say. Uh, like we said, this is the first of uh, a few podcasts we're going to be doing. So. If anything new comes along, then check out our YouTube channel, uh, and we'll we'll uh, we'll see you around. Yeah, and, it, and it also once again, if you if there's something that we haven't covered in this video um, that you would like to find out, then email us at contact at chemistbayfest.co.uk. Cheers. Cheers.